Murat Aslan is a security analyst and an associate professor of security studies at Hassan Kalyonju University. He's in Ankara. Uh, uh, thanks so much, Murat, for your time for us, as always. Uh, we've seen the two militaries today marching during that victory parade. Quite astonishing uh, pictures coming into us from Baku. Uh, what was the role of the Turkish defense industry during the recent conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh? Contributed a lot because Turkish defense industry is one of the, you know, field that Turkey intensified efforts to produce more efficient weapons and ammunition. And Turkey, you know, sold uh, these weapons and ammunition to Azerbaijan. And also Azerbaijan uh, employed a kind of long and uh, programmed arm procurement process. If you just check the defense expenditure and the, you know, the tendency of having weapons from different resources, Azerbaijan had a program. The latest budget of Azerbaijan was about $2.2 billion. On the other hand, if you compare it to Armenia, it's just like $600 million. And at the meantime, Azerbaijan just increased the level of armed procurement up until 2019 and later then stopped it. But Armenia increased armed procurement right after 2019. That shows a long and programmed armed procurement process in Azerbaijani mentality, mainly from different resources like Israel, like Belarus, like China, and Pakistan, and Russia. Murat, uh, what does uh, this um, victory uh, in Nagorno-Karabakh actually mean for the stability of the entire region? Actually, the current uh, statistical is permanent ceasefire. There are some articles in the agreement that, okay, Russia will be involved in, you know, observing the uh, ceasefire, that's correct, but this is just an armistice, but we need a peace agreement. That means a political solution to the overall problem. Uh, up until now, there are some political, uh, you know, dynamics challenged in Armenia. So right after Armenia uh, finds herself, then a political process will start. And right after that, it will be an opportunity to build an environment of peace if Armenians say, OK, that's enough, let's make a deal and be concrete, then we may face peace. But if they continue to challenge, that means we will face many other fightings in the region. Murat Aslan, always a pleasure to chat with you, Murat. Thanks for coming in. Uh, he's a security analyst and an associate professor of security studies at Hassan Kalyonju University.